Hi, I'm Sam and I have the world's first Tesla converted Audi S5. The okay. torque is instant. Instant. It's so amazing. The, the second I press it. <laughs>
all that kind of stuff. So that's what you would see on the display. The, all the CAN bus IDs and uh, whatever they're saying to on the CAN bus network, you could record Audi uh, original modules to actually work together with Tesla, whatever the drivetrain unit it has in there. So there's three motors that Tesla comes with. There's like this base one, which is like a regular, let's call it 85, uh, car and that's about uh, 950 amps that it could pull. Uh, then there's the performance one out of like a P85, which is what I have in here. And then stock from a Tesla, it would pull about 1,150 amps. And then they have the like ludicrous performance models. And then that would be something like, I think 1,400 amps or whatever. But since we hacked it, we can pull as much as we want. It's just that the inverter might not handle it. So we keep it stock, but you could pull whatever you want. <laughs> It's like, I guess, uh, what would be equivalent in a gas car, just boosting it to like yeah. 60 FPS. Yeah, so you could do it, not recommend it. <laughs> as, long, as long as you are okay with the level of performance. The, uh, yes, out of the yes. <laughs> Tesla is like kind of, let's call it like the Betamax versus uh, VHS of the 80s. They have their own proprietary connectors and every other electric car has its own connector. So it's called the J1772 is what every other car uses. So basically I'm using what every other car. So like Volkswagen uses, what BMW uses, what Nissan uses, they all use what I'm using. I could use the Tesla one, but technically it's, I'm not connected to their payment system, I'm not connected to any of that, so it might be a little weird, so. Over here is a, a vacuum pump that we actually took out of a Tesla Model S. So what that's providing is vacuum for your brake booster, because obviously there's no gasoline engine, there's nothing creating vacuum, so that creates you uh, a vacuum for your brakes. And it doesn't need to always run like in a gas engine, so basically it has a relay and it sees how much you know pressure is in the line. So as soon as you reach enough vacuum, it just shuts off, so you don't need to waste energy. Over here, this is our junction box. So basically, to turn the car on, it's like, turning a switch, but they're big, they're called contactors, but they're basically switches. So when you turn the key, they need to close. And when they close, that's what gives the current from the batteries to the inverter. So that's kind of like the, the on system for the vehicle. All batteries are DC. There's no, AC, no such thing as an AC battery. So you need something that inverts it. The same thing you would have when like uh, in a car, you would have an inverter that gives you uh, 120 volts. So it's similar. But on top of that, this also varies the frequency of that AC. So that way you can have different speeds. Because if you were at just 60 hertz, for example, you would just be at one speed. You wouldn't be able to vary. You wouldn't need a pedal. It would just be at one speed. So that also varies the frequency. So you'd have different speed. There's the current sensor in there and uh, our pre-charge resistor. A pre-charge resistor, you, so any electric car is going to need a pre-charge system. When you have a huge capacitor, which is like in here, there's a big capacitance in there. And then you have a big battery bank, which can just, in this sense, is basically virtually unlimited current. You need something that's going to limit that current when you close that switch. Otherwise, it could pull let's say 10,000 amps, and then you have a fire or something like that. Um, so that safety circuit is built in here. But basically, they want to run the batteries. The recommended uh, temperature range is between negative 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. When you start pulling 1,200 amps, they start getting hot real quick. So you're going to want to cool them. Over here on the side, I guess you can't see that, but uh, we put a radiator there, so air comes in, uh, it goes there, and then this is the reservoir for it. And then basically, there's just pumps all around that push it through all the, the cells. You don't want to do it so it goes from one battery to another, so we have a cooling manifold that basically there's an in for all the batteries at once, and then there's an out for all the batteries at once. So it's not like goes into one battery, then it's another, another, and just transferring the heat over to the next uh, uh, battery. This is the system we built. Um, yeah, it looks like a spider web, but it actually works. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the common intake manifold that I was talking about. So basically each one of these is a inlet for each module and each one of these is the outlet for the modules. So they all come into this common manifold and they all come out through this common manifold. Then that just prevents it from dumping heat from one battery into another. Within each brick of the Tesla Model uh, S batteries, they already have embedded in them two thermistors that tell you the temperature of each battery brick. We have an integrated battery management system that sees all the values, and you basically just program that, that at a certain temperature, let's say at 30 degrees Celsius, to activate a relay that then activates a pump to then go to the radiator and manage the, the cooling. So by SAE standards, any high voltage, and I believe high voltage is anything above 24 volts, it needs to be, uh, enclosed in the CLO conduit to let firefighters or any safety personnel know who are the high voltages so they can be safe about it. We put uh, racing brakes which are a bitch because they squeak like a mother it, Oh by the way another thing about electric cars is uh, it has something called regen 
So the motor does most of the braking, like 95% of the time. So you're not even really using your brakes. Maybe on the track you would be, but like most driving you're not. So it's not really a necessary upgrade, but we did it. So the, the handling does feel better because we put all the weight over the, into the center of the car as much as possible. So it does feel great in that sense. And then also the instant torque is definitely way more noticeable than it was with the, the Audi. There's an automatic transmission. So I guess, you know, every time you would step on it, it would take a second to shift down and, you know, to rev up the engine. So it definitely did not feel as crisp as this does right now. You just, the second you press it, you just feel like you have a locomotive right behind you. You know what I mean? Like it just, it just pulls. All right, ready? Oh God. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No oh, <laughs> And it's just because you can't get this kind of experience. You can't get this kind of feel with a gas engine. You know, there's just something surreal about being at a stop sign and it's just, there's just no vibration, no nothing. It's just, you're just standing still. And the second you press the accelerator pedal, you just like fly. And the fact that you never have to pay for gas or any kind of oil changes, you don't have to worry about the timing, you don't have to worry about, you know, vacuum or compression, none of that. You know, it's just very easy to maintain. In fact, for the last year, I haven't done anything to this car. I've maybe uh, rotated my tires once and that's about it. No oil changes, no nothing, so. How long is uh, the battery life actually on the batteries? Yeah, so they're like a brand new battery. They rate them by cycles. So fully charging and discharging them is a cycle. And these batteries usually last, they say 12 100 cycles um, but that's if you fully charge them and discharge them so if you charge it to let's say 70% and they charge it at 30% that's not a full cycle so if you do it like that let's say from 80 to 30 it'll actually last you know maybe tens of thousands of cycles so they could well outlive the usability of their like usefulness meaning that like in five ten years there's a better battery these still might be okay and then you just want to upgrade them just because they're better for whatever reason yeah. this car last year in August it wasn't even it, it was it was driving but there was wires everywhere we just got everything running and the plan was to basically take everything back out and make it properly and nice but our friend chris he found us on some russian forum or something like that he, he tells the story much better and he tracked us down over like a month or something by one picture that we posted on instagram and he had to do like a reverse search like that on google and then he found that picture he found my friend Irvin that posted that and he messaged him saying like hey do you know who owns this car and then he's like yes I do and he's like you gotta tell him to come down to this event and we didn't know if we we're gonna make it like the car was literally the wires were everywhere we just had it running like a month before that yeah and we made it 80 miles something like that and blistering heat all the way down there we just thought it wouldn't be as impressive because everything is you know obviously not finished but yeah it turned out to get two million views on YouTube with Rich and all that and uh, the rest is history so so, HNR, HNR, sway bars. You, you do that, you know better. I don't even remember what we put in there. I can remember what I put yeah. in there. <laughs> uh, that, that. <laughs> this motor is put up. Go ahead, say it. Just you do it better. Go ahead, say no, it. No, you do it. Yeah, I don't want so, we put in. We, no, we, 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 you know what would be good in the video? Take one, take two. So we 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 upgraded. Yo, I have no time. We upgrade. Oh my god, we upgraded the the brakes. We upgraded the brakes. We upgraded the the rotors. Uh, oh, okay, what was the, uh, <laughs> How much did all this cost? It cost. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>